Hey, it's Timmy. I just wanted to show you a very quick way of embedding Tableau public content into a Notion page. Now, this is technically possible. Let me show you how this works. If I just go over to Tableau public, grab the share link, and I'm just going to grab the link that you get here at the bottom, copy that, go back to Notion. And what I want to do here is open up an embed item. So I'll do a forward slash and type embed. You'll see that it brings this particular item here at the top. Paste a Tableau public link, hit embed link. It will think about it. And what it will do is it will launch a little box. And in that box is the actual Tableau public viz. And this is fully interactive. Um, but you'll note that it, it kind of uh, loads the mobile design for this. Um, if I go to the uh, web browser, you'll see that it's got a very different design. It's got like a, a landscape design in desktop view. But when I go here, it nearly always loads the mobile design. It ends up being quite fiddly. And um, uh, you can see Notion's also got a few bugs here in the most recent version. So as you try and expand this to kind of make it fill the space, it, it does sort of work. And, you know, this is interactive. You can see it's got the full Tableau interactivity. But I found this sort of approach uh, very cumbersome. It didn't sort of work to my style. So um, there's another way of doing embeds that is supported by Notion. And that's using another tool called CodePen. Now, if I go back to the uh, Notion documentation, you'll see that it can embed lots of different types of content. One of those types of content is CodePen. Now, CodePen is just a way for developers to test HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in the browser, build sort of small things like buttons or interactions, send them to someone via link, or just show people how to do something using those three technologies. And so CodePen actually allows us to do this. So what I've done is I've got a CodePen account here. You can see that I've actually embedded the Tableau Release Navigator before using this trick. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just create a brand new CodePen, and we can just go ahead and do that. So let's create um, a pen and essentially you'll see at the top you get html cs and javascript the only thing we need to pay attention to is the html go back to our visualization and what you want to do is go back to the share button and you want to copy everything inside of the embed can code so when you uh, click on that it actually does copy it i believe but we'll go ahead and uh, copy that ourselves go back to code pen and you want to paste everything into the html section over here it does actually include JavaScript in there, but we're just going to put everything in there because technically the HTML runs in the page. And you can see that it now loads the full uh, page here below. And it's the static sort of desktop version. It's fully interactive and that's perfect. Now, the next thing I want to do is uh, save this. So once we save this, we actually get a unique URL for this particular pen, as they call it. And then I'll just grab that link here at the top, uh, grab it, copy it go back to Notion and what I can do is go ahead and use that embed type again. So go ahead and type embed um, and then I can just paste the URL to CodePen, hit embed link and what it will do this time is it will load the CodePen rather than the Tableau public viz. So it's just going to uh, think about it for a second and when it, once it's done that it actually creates a little page for us which is kind of nice and we can make this wider if we want to and we can make it taller as well and you can see that it does actually neatly load the whole entire viz. Let's just bring that down a bit more. So yeah, there we go. That's that's almost a perfect fit. Now, if we hit run pen, then we get the um, full viz inside of Notion. Now, it, yes, it's annoying that it has this sort of um, tab around it, but in all honesty, um, I personally think this is better. Let's just make it as wide as possible to get rid of those uh, um, vertical scroll bars as well. Let's keep going down. There we go. I think that should be everything perfect. Um, it just wants to have enough space for that. And there we go. So nice. Um, everything is done. So if I just zoom out, um, you can see here that now everything is in the page. It's beautifully set up in Notion and it's fully interactive. You can use it as you would expect. You can interact with it and it's a pretty, pretty cool way of doing this. So this is actually my recommended way of putting something um, from Tableau Public into Notion. Uh, if you're in a company and you use Notion, um, I wouldn't recommend this approach for anything uh, that requires authentication just because you're going to introduce a lot of sort of um, challenges, let's say, with security. If you're going to go through something like CodePen, it's not a good practice to sort of get into. But I do hope that Notion improves its embedding capabilities, makes it a little bit smarter so that we can actually have native Tableau embeds here in Notion. Maybe even Tableau and Notion work together to create some sort of extension or live in the exchange that you can add to Notion that just brings in Tableau public visits right into Notion. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.